Hello there and welcome to today's video. The topic, seven unique ways to stand out from your competition. Seven unique ways to stand out from your competition. I mean, it's tough out there. Really, really tough out there, right? If you don't know the, you know, the difference between you and your competitors, then neither will your potential customers either. They won't see you as any different to anybody else. This is a key part for you because if you're just part of the masses, then why the heck should people do business with you? Somehow we've got to come up with a way to make you stand out from all the competition that's out there. And there's so much competition out there, right? So you've got to ask yourself this que two questions, right? The first question is this. What makes you different from your competition, right? What makes you different from your competition? You need to spend serious time getting that right, getting that question right. And then the second question is this. What makes you better than your competition? The reason I'm asking you to do that is because you've got to come up with a reason why people should do business with you and not your competition, all right? So to help you overcome, which is a pretty big hurdle, because we're talking about your unique selling proposition, your USP, right? The most important thing is this, when you're trying to come up with the differences between you and your competition, make sure that the benefits, you, the, the things you come up with are emotionally based, right? Because people buy on emotion. 90% of people buy on emotion, not on logic. So you've got to differentiate yourself in a way that appeals to the emotions of your potential target audience, all right? How do you do that? Well, I'm going to share seven things with you now, and I think you might find one of them in particular a bit of fun, all right? But key issue is this. The best way to differentiate yourself, I mean, you don't have to be rocket science here, but be honest, be transparent. More important than that, be yourself. Truly be yourself. Don't be anybody else, okay? And always share from your heart. Share from your heart. This is important. This is not wishy-washy stuff. This is real stuff. Because in this fast-moving, highly competitive world, I can assure you that if people can resonate with you and believe in you, then they will do business with you. But they will not believe in you unless they can understand who in the heck you are. And if you're sharing from the heart, then the words and the body language you are sharing with them will speak for themselves. Okay? That's why it's called Total Honesty, Clarity and the Truth. My name is Peter Beckham, the Village Marketer. And as always, talking to you from my little Thai village, <clears throat> way up near the Cambodian border. Thank you for all the hearts. That's really good. Let me just acknowledge some people quickly. Isan, good to see you. Hello there. Nice. Thanks for joining. Nabil from Turkey, Nabil Maki from Lebanon, good to see you. Yvonne Jones, thank you very much indeed. Sanjay Rao, thank you. Lynette Chung, thank you very much indeed too. Mama, thank you for joining, good to see you. Mary Triggs, have I missed anybody? Carol Davies, wow, good to see you, Carol. I hope you're feeling better, okay? Anyway, let me get started. Okay, here are seven unique ways for you to separate yourself differentiate yourself from your competition. The first one is to provide legendary customer service. I'll give you an example. I live in a small Thai village, right? And the nearest town to us is about 20 kilometers away. It's called Sisaket, okay? Not that that means too much to anybody, but in Sisaket, there's this family owned shoe store, right? And what they do is that you can buy your shoe, and we always buy from there, and this is the reason why. You can take the shoes and you can put them on and rather than just walk around the shop, but if you go outside, you can walk around the block and run around them, okay, to make sure they work for you. They actually let you do that, right? And you can be out there for maybe 30 minutes trying them out, et cetera, et cetera. So that's one thing. That's pretty legendary, okay? But secondly, if you decide upon them and then six months later you change your mind, you can take them back and they'll give you a full refund, okay, and provide you with a replacement set of shoes, 
okay? That to me is pretty darn good legendary service. Do they differentiate themselves? Absolutely they do. Their prices are not as cheap as the big department stores, okay? Because they've got economies of scale. This is a little family owned business, but I wouldn't do business with anybody else, okay? Because they've differentiated themselves. Number two, address customer pain points in a unique way. Here's a really clever example. This guy is a dentist. I mean, people, you know what it's like. No one likes to go to the dentist because of the sound and the smell and the noise of the drills and all that stuff, right? Well, this guy, He's got a thing called Dental Bliss. He's from um, Nashville in Tennessee, right? And what he does is this. But instead of patients waiting in chairs and listening to the, of the drills and, and the smells and things, he has set up a spa, right, where you can have a spa, where you can have a massage, free, free, as long as you've got a booking with him. You've got a massage, you can have a spa, you can put headphones on so you can't hear the noise of the drill and have music, right? And this guy is creating a completely different experience. He is blowing them away in terms of customers because he addresses things in a unique way. Has he made himself different from his competition? Absolutely he has, right? Third one, admit your mistakes and fix the problems to build stronger relationships. I'll own up here. About a month ago, one of my customers who purchased one of my coaching products, I sent him the wrong link. Okay? <clears throat> he didn't say anything to me at the time. I didn't know. It was stupid. I have no excuse. I made a mistake. <clears throat> but then in talking in one of our sessions, I asked him about a certain thing and he said, I never got it. So I looked and checked and I found I'd made a terrible mistake, a really terrible mistake. And what I had given him was one third of the value and the price of what he'd paid for. One third. So I truly, I had to admit it was a mistake. Truly it was my mistake. I had to, to fix the problem. I had to go out of my way to make sure that that would never happen again. And I, and I told him, I have no excuse. It was just a darn genuine mistake. I am truly sorry, okay? As a result of that, <clears throat> We're still good friends and he's still a good client of mine, okay? But the message is be prepared to admit when you make a mistake. It does wonders for your relationships, okay? I don't mean go and make a mistake on purpose, but if you make a mistake, fix it. Then it'll do wonders. The fourth thing, be honest about your products and your services. And what I mean by this is this. <clears throat> if you can't deliver by a certain time when you promise, call them and tell them you can't do it. Admit you can't do it. Be honest. Secondly, admit the limitations to your offer before they even buy what it is. Share with them what it can do and what it can't do. Most people just focus on the plus, 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 plus. But if you focus on the plus and the, and the negative, well, not the negative, but in the limitations, right, you will automatically differentiate yourself because people don't expect you to do that. And they see you as a refreshing breath of honest air, right? <clears throat> so... Be honest about your products and your offers. That will definitely differentiate you from your competition because you're giving people a different buying experience. That's what it's about, all right? Next one, offer unique, a unique guarantee. Here's another one we can give you from our point of view. We run a handmade Thai silk business, and what we decided to do is offer a lifetime guarantee for our silk, lifetime. Okay, because that's how much we believe in the value of the handmade silk that we have. Okay, I'm not trying to do a sales pitch here, just telling you this lifetime guarantee did wonders for our business. And it was easy for us to do. And if people came back to us in five years' time, for example, and they'd put it through the washing machine or whatever it is, which you could do with our silk anyway, but something went wrong with it, we would definitely refund and replace it anyway. So we stood by the fact we had a lifetime guarantee. Now, I'm not saying you should have a lifetime guarantee for your offers, but come up with a guarantee that's different. Come up with a guarantee that grabs people's attention. That's what I'm trying to get at, okay? The next one, share and broadcast your passion. This is really important. If you believe in what you do, then what you need to do is make sure that everything about you, okay, shows the passion and the belief in what you offer and what you do. I mean, it, it's, 
let them let people feel it and hear it and see it in you because if they do that they will relate and resonate with you okay this is truly important if you can if you if you are truly passionate then that's contagious it's truly contagious it's much, it's far more contagious than enthusiasm because enthusiasm sometimes can be overdone right but passion true passion and self belief in what you can do is something that it beats everything truly beats everything right next one don't be predictable this is the last one don't be predictable here's an example i've got two examples here the first one is when people used to visit my blog for the first time and they left me a comment okay i would create a video for them just a one minute video right i had their email address anyway from leaving the comment and i'd simply say i'll pick out an example yvonne jones thank you Yvonne, for being my guinea pig today yvonne thank you very much for sharing your time with me in my recent blog post and i give her the name of the blog post okay i really appreciate the fact you not only took the time to read what i had to say or watch what i had to do if it was a video but also you took your valuable time to share with me a comment that to me means everything thank you very much indeed and i hope you come back and visit with you soon all right i took that video i put it up on youtube as an unlisted video and then i sent her the link to the video that did wonders for my blogging community you don't know how many people came to my blog after that because the Evons of this world told people about this guy in Thailand who creates videos of thank yous, etc. And of course, thank yous are a fantastic way to grow your business. Don't discount the value of saying thank you. That's just an example. And here's, to finish with, here's another. This is a crazy example, but I'm going to give it to you anyway, right? I only found out about this just recently. First of all, this is about how you can get in to see somebody, right? Be different and get in to see somebody that you could never get in to see before. Okay? I've got a suggestion for you. Okay? Don't laugh. Here it is. First of all, first of all, write a list down of all the people you would love to get in to go and see. In terms of maybe they're they're a a real influencer in your marketplace or a leader in your market niche, whatever it may be. List them down, whoever they are, right? Then, this is what you're going to do. First of all, you need a box, right? Simple old cardboard box, right? Then, in the box, you put one of your shoes. Stick it in the box, right? So you've got the shoe in the box. And then you write, a personal note and i'll give you what the note is personal note and you put the note in the box all right and you send the box off to the person that you're trying to get the appointment with and this is what you say this is the, this is about being different right this is about being absolutely non-predictable okay you say in a handwritten note right dear mr ceo i want to i just want to have the privilege of introducing myself to you and potentially of having the opportunity to work with you and your great company. The reason I have one shoe in the box is to represent the fact that I've got one shoe in the door. Okay. Please meet me so I can get my other foot in the door as well. I hope you appreciate my sense of humor and my creativity. Yours sincerely, your name. Okay. Now, have I tried this? No, no. But I'm sharing with you because there are people who have tried it and it works, right? What happens is this. When the box, okay, when the box with your shoe in it and your handwritten note arrives at the, at the office, there's normally, if it's a CEO, he's got a personal assistant or a series of people, okay? They're gatekeepers, right, who protect him from all the trash and rubbish and salespeople, etc. But when they see this box, I guarantee you they'll burst out laughing. They really will burst out laughing. And the first thing that that person will go, they'll go to the CEO and say, Mr. CEO, you've just got to see this. You really have to see this, right? Okay. Is it, and it works. Okay, it works. By the way, food for thought here, don't put any stiletto heels in there because you could be sending a wrong message, right? And secondly, make sure you put clean, non-smelly shoes in there as well, right? 
Okay? But the idea is you'll be surprised how many people will be willing to meet with you because you are darn different. You are absolutely different from everybody else they've ever met. Okay? That's my thoughts for you today. So I hope you got some value from it. All right? Now, my call to action for you, two things. One, if you want to join my Facebook group where we've got all sorts of ways of helping you get to your next level, because that's what we call it, your next level, come and join me, okay? And secondly, I also have a free PDF for you. In a more serious note, nothing to do with the shoes in boxes, right? The free PDF, if you want this PDF, send me a personal message. And the PDF's called Differentiate Your Business Offer. It takes you on a journey of how to differentiate your business offer. If that's of value to you, then I'd be delighted and very pleased to share it with you. Okay, that's my thoughts for today. I hope you found some value with it. If you did, please leave me a like, please leave me a comment, and share share this video if you think other people could benefit from it as well. All right? All the best from Thailand. Thank you very much. Have I missed anybody else? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Just be with me a minute, okay? Julia, oh, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Sorry, I've missed you before. And Billy Pickett, good to see you. Thank you very much indeed, okay? Uh, Ruth Martin, thank you. Oh, wow, we've got Ruth and Yvonne Carroll said before, Marvin, Jason, Jason Smith, good to see you. Ben Powell, thank you. All right, guys, so thank you very much. I won't hold you any longer. I appreciate the time you shared with me. I hope you got some value with it. My message is be different, okay? Be different. If you are different in your own unique way, you will be able to compete. It doesn't matter who's out there. Take care. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.